Hey guys, this is Vampire Bride. Today I'm doing episode 3 of my series about video games that are made from TV shows and movies. Today we'll be talking about NCIS. NCIS is a well-known TV show that airs on CBS. It has a lot of similarities to other criminal investigation shows such as CSI and Criminal Minds. But it has one big difference, and that is that it focuses only on personnel from the military, specifically the Navy. Hence the name, Naval Criminal Investigative Service. NCIS currently has 15 seasons out and is one of the most watched shows in the United States. The main characters are the investigators, Proby, or McGee, Tony Donozo, and Ziva, and of course their boss, Jethro Gibbs. Throughout the shows, you watch them try to solve their cases. Different shows will show more about a specific character and you get to see more into that character's life, giving each character a good backstory. Another important character is Abby Shudo. The forensic scientist for the team. She usually stays at their headquarters at the Washington Navy Yard. And when the team is there, Gibbs always brings her a calf pal, her favorite drink, and her brain fuel. And also Donald Mallard, who is the chief medical examiner for the team and is better known as Ducky. There are a lot of characters that come along the way. Those are just the most important ones. I'm not going to go into detail about the story of the NCIS show, as that would be a lot because there is 15 seasons already. It's one of the longest running TV shows that is out there right now. And I wouldn't want to spoil anything for those who haven't watched it yet. If you haven't seen it and you like criminal investigation shows, it's definitely worth a watch. I watched it a lot with my family when I was younger. Alright, now for the main part of this video, which is the Xbox 360 NCIS game. I didn't know an NCIS game existed on the Xbox until recently, and as soon as I learned about it, I wanted to play it. This point-and-click game is a matter of taste. If you don't like the slower-moving point-and-click style games, then this game probably isn't for you. But if you like crime-solving and mystery type games, then you may enjoy it. There are four parts or episodes that you have to go through in the game and you get to play as different characters throughout it, which I'll go into more detail about here in a bit. The story starts out with a guy robbing a casino and leaving two officers dead, so the NCIS team has to figure out why and who. A crime-solving investigation just like in the show. You start the game off playing as Donozo, but the game switches you to each of the main characters throughout. As Dinozo, you must find all the clues around the murders. From the firearms used and the bullets fired, to bullet holes and cell phones, and also the bullets trajectory using some laser lights. You take pictures of the evidence and interview suspects. Then you play as Proby or McGee. You process evidence and look at emails and personal files of the victims and suspects. You find links between them and the evidence. You hack systems using three different puzzles, such as clicking the numbers that light up in a certain pattern, or remembering a set of symbols and then placing them in order. Next you play as Abby and match fingerprints from weapons and things around the crime scene to victims and suspects in the database. Matching bullets to guns, footprints to shoes, and figuring out chemical compositions. When Gibbs comes to check on your progress, you go over to what's called the deduction board, where you match pieces of evidence with files that McGee found, and the data that you analyze and explain why you think that they go together. In essence, putting the pieces together to solve the mystery. Then it's back to playing as McGee again, for the absolute worst part of the game, where you have to track the main suspect. You keep your cursor over the suspect's vehicle for three rounds, each round getting closer to the vehicle. 
and harder to keep your cursor on target. You track the target for a certain amount of time until a circle is filled, then cue the next round. Each time your cursor gets off target, the fill circle backtracks, making it that much longer you have to stay on target to finish the round. During the first episode, it isn't very difficult, but as you proceed through the game, it gets harder and more annoying and tedious every time. Then you finally get to play as Gibbs, the character that I had been waiting to play as. I was disappointed when I first started playing the game that I wasn't playing as the boss man, but but soon learn that you play as each of the different characters. As Gibbs, you interview main suspects and use the evidence that you and Abby put together on the deduction board to prove that they are lying and show the evidence against them. You choose between quite a few pieces of evidence and have to decide which one fits with what they are saying. If you get it incorrect, you lose a calf pal, which is like a life. When you run out of calf pal, you have to start the interview over again. None of it is overly difficult, but some does take a little thinking. You then get to play as Ducky and perform an autopsy on all the deceased victims of the crime, taking pictures of the bullet holes and any marks on the bodies. Next, you return to Abby to match bullets pulled from the victims to guns compensated at the crime scene. Then back to McGee one last time well, in this episode anyways, to see where calls were made from and where the guns came from. Then you finally get to play as Ziva, walking around taking pictures of evidence and such as Tony did in the beginning. This is how the first episode goes and the other three follow along similar paths. There is a circle in the upper right hand corner that lets you know the percent of the job you have completed. With each character change, the percent goes back to zero. The game looks okay. Some characters look pretty close to what they should and others are pretty far off. The story comes full circle in episode 4, connecting all four of the crimes together. I was surprised that it was that thought out. Surprisingly, I really liked this game. Usually I'm drawn to more fast-paced action-adventure type games, but this game just really caught my eye. I finished it in two sit downs as it's only five to six hours long. For the most part it kept my interest besides that stupid tracking part that I dreaded to replay even to just get gameplay for this video. The NCIS game received a 4 out of 10 on IGN and a 35 on Metacritic. So needless to say it didn't do too well. So although I really enjoyed the game, I cannot honestly say that this was a successful game made from a movie or TV show. Thanks for watching guys, hit that like button, subscribe and check out my Patreon for more.